Ladies and gentlemen, this is The Anecdotal Economist, and today we are going to talk about the effects of the elections on gold and silver. I got some empirical evidence for you and some of my own thoughts. Let's get into it. I got in a nice, big gold order. Okay, that didn't come out the way I thought it would. That's where it comes from. Here, pick it up, feel it, tell me what you think. No other mint has this issue. The triangle has replaced the British pound. Like little trading cards. That's a naughty word. We never rob. We just sort of borrow a bit from those who can afford it. All right, so step one, let's pop up a little graph here. Now, this is provided by, well, it's originally from Bloomberg as the source and uh, the pretty colors are done by someone called the Mad King and get myself out of the way so you can see the citation in the bottom right there and what's cool about this graph is it goes back to 1964 which is quite a long ways back and I guess the biggest takeaway that I can say on this is that there is no clear pattern now you can try and do things like break it up between who wins Democrats or Republicans and you will get a little bit more information if you look here you're gonna see that the Democratic presidential election wins lead to an increase on average of 1.5 percent while Republican wins bring a decrease of 5.5 and all you can really say with that is it's it's averages and so it doesn't really mean that much right we could look at things like how long were the Democrats in power how long were the Republicans in power and all kinds of other factors that that could lean into this so you can't just take that and say, well, if Trump gets in, gold's going to fall. Now, having said that, let's go back to this graph. In the last election, we can see that leading up to Trump, it went up 17% and then it hit zero. It didn't fall. It hit zero. And actually, when Biden got in, uh, it ran up even more and then fell 7% when Biden got in. So the last two cycles are actually the opposite of what the average is. So again, I think the number one thing here is you can't really draw any conclusions. I think if anybody is trying to tell you a story, you need to really dig into it, uh, especially with regarding to the elections here. You need to really, really dig into it. Now, that's sort of on the macro level because here we're talking about an entire year. So the black bars here are the prior one year and the pink bars, purple bars, are the following year after the election. And so the biggest thing that I would draw your attention to is if we just look at the 70s, which was the last time we had a big bout of inflation, so maybe that's slightly more comparable, uh, we see really big slings, but again, no consistent pattern, right? We have one year where they're both up, one year where it's down before and up after, and one year where it's up and then down, right? And so maybe that's worth referencing. I guess the biggest thing is that the numbers of, for gold are huge right? 54%, 73%, minus 33%. They're big, big numbers. And I suspect, I suspect that moving forward, we could see similar numbers again. Now, I have to tell you, I would not be surprised at all to see a pullback in 2024, but it really just depends on what the government does. There's so many factors. And just showing you this, the biggest takeaway I have from this, again, is that you just can't draw a conclusion. you got to look at other evidence on top of this. If you're looking at this by itself, it really doesn't paint that clear of a picture. And I don't think for this video we have time to start pairing those things up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you a little bit of my own thoughts here. I'm gonna show you a few things uh, on the other screen. In a future video, I'm going to discuss sort of more of the micro, right? I consider this a little bit more macro. I'm gonna take a look at some of the more recent elections and really zoom in, looking at everything right down to the hour, not just, you know, you know, one January to December, right? But actually look closer, you know, look at the month leading up and see if there's any, you know, maybe buy the dip opportunities that we could be watching for. Maybe have a strategy to look at during the election. So that's definitely something I'm going to be paying attention to. I suppose a lot of people out there will be as well. Uh, and one other comment I have is Salivate Metals usually does a live stream on precious metals. I don't know if he does it on election night, but if he does, I would highly recommend you check it out. Because I've been watching the last few election cycles and gold and silver tend to do some very interesting things uh, the day of the election, like leading up to before and after. Because commodities do trade 24 hours a day, except on weekends, um, even on weekends they can trade to some extent, but you can actually watch the uh, election affect the price. And that, to me at least, is fun if you're, if you're a nerd like that. Okay, so let's jump over here. And appropriately today, I have got a Donald Trump coin with the White House on the back. And to me, Donald Trump is such an upset 
you know, the guy's literally got a mugshot. Look at this. I had to have one of these once I saw the mugshot. I was just like, there is no way. You know, if Biden gets a mugshot, trust me, I'll be buying that coin too. That is just something a guy's got to see. Although I suppose Trump wasn't a sitting president during this mugshot, but I digress. Um, he clearly has the ability here to upset things. And I think with, at least anecdotally, it seems like there's a lot more people getting into gold and silver. There's a lot more chatter and talk about it. And although I know 2008 was a big time for new people to come into stacking, the way the community is on YouTube now and Twitter and all these different platforms, I really think it's growing in a bigger and more profound way than it used to. Um, in 2008, we didn't really, you know, d I don't know. You couldn't just go on YouTube and find a bunch of people talking about it. Now, I mean, you have so much information that can educate you on where to buy it and how to buy it and why you should buy it and all these different things and even selling it. And so I do think this election, there's going to be a lot more physical stuff to watch. So that chart was talking about the spot price, but what's going to happen to premiums? That's another thing that we need to watch out for. And I, of course, don't have an answer, but I suspect almost either way, I think there's going to be a lot of buying near election time, either before or after. It's going to be hard to say. So guys, I'm having fun talking about this. This is just one of those things where I get to show off a Donald Trump coin, have a conversation, and get you guys to start thinking. And hopefully in an upcoming video, we can do a little bit more of a deep dive. Now, I do do a coin review every day. I've already re reviewed this one in the past. So today's review is, well, not really a review. It's just another Silvertown bar. As you guys know, right over there, I've got 25 empty capsules-ish. And uh, I'm filling them up with silver bars one at a time. And you're going to see that here. Every time I get one, my pile will get a little bit higher. Other things may change, but until this is filled up, it's going to stay there. So that's one more bar. We got three now. Trying to get different ones, but I guess I got two silver towns now. I do enjoy those silver town bars. I had not ever seen one before. I'd never really looked. But I have to say, I have to say, for getting them as just a generic bar, they are very nice looking. So no complaints. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's my two ounces worth for today. Let me know what you guys think on the presidential election. Anybody have some past stories about that? Throw it in the comments. Do give me a like and a subscribe if you appreciate this. And with that, remember, I'm pulling for you. And we're all in this together. Kilogram, you're the dragon, you're the rabbit. Okay, let's look at the money side now. Watch as I pull this bad boy out of here. Absolutely stunning once you get it out of the case. Feeling the weight of this in my hand. Oh, that's such a good feeling. I never had enough gold.